Hello, my name is Asatsu5, and before I get the main video started, um, I want to do a quick EDC update. Uh, as of right now, I am carrying my Waterman pen, fountain pen, my, um, of course, my Pathfinder watch, um, my Moo cords, the code, the uh, Bokal um, Sobcom knife and the Code Steel Recon 1 2010 version with the triad lock clip point and um, that's just a quick EDC update it's not really what this video is about but I thought I'd add it in though um, what this video is really about is the Code Steel Ra Raja 3 now someone asked a question and asked if I could um, demonstrate the strength of the triad lock so I want to go ahead and show that video um, and just a clear, clear warning do not do this this is extremely dangerous and um, it's gross abuse on the knife and it will void your warranty with cold steel so here's the video hello my name is Asatsu5 and this is a taped up uh, Raja 3 I'm going to be doing some um, lock testing the testing out the triad lock I'm wearing a leather glove and uh, I'm taping up the blade with Gorilla duct tape and I'm also wearing safety glasses. Uh, I don't know why I'm wearing safety glasses. You know, anything can happen. The blade can chip and fly off into my eye. Um, there could be wood chips uh, and plus they just make me look cool. So make uh, I don't recommend this at all. It's gross abuse on the knife and it will void your warranty. But um, I'm kind of curious about the new um, triad lock, and I mentioned on my review of the Code Steel DVD that I thought that Robert kind of took it easy on the lock, uh, on the knife when he was testing the lock strength on him. He was giving him a tap kind of like this, and uh, in the old Code Steel DVDs, solid proof and more proof, he was more like this. Well. I think that's a pretty good uh, spine whack. Do it a few more times. It's still locking up really good. And you can see it's marring up the back of the blade. I really am hitting it. Oh! Crap! Well, that's what happens when you um, play with knives. Um, that's a textbook example of why you don't do this. Um, I'll butterfly this up and we'll do a couple spine whack. I mean, um, um, oval strikes. Uh, I'll see you in a few seconds. Alright, you can see that things have definitely went wrong. Um, let's see. Here was the gloves. There was the knife. And there was the hand. I got two staples. It wasn't a really big cut, but it was kind of deep. And um, I went ahead and got staples put in. And um, just to show you the leather gloves I was wearing, there was the cut. Um, it was at least, this leather was at least a millimeter thick, around a millimeter. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with that. These were some leather walk gloves. Um, this, along with the um, gorilla glue uh, duct tape um, on the blade was to protect my hand and they both failed um, this thing was sharp enough and had enough energy behind it to cut through the tape the glove and my skin now before we condemn the um, lock mecha locking mechanism the triad lock um, I want to um, point out one thing um, and I really won't be able to um, tell if this is what happened until I slow down the video but um, there was a possibility that I might have actuated the lock while striking the um, the um, sawhorse uh, releasing the blade well um, or releasing it just enough where it could pop uh, cut me and then ricochet back uh, so I don't really want to condemn the triad lock just yet there was a chance that I might have actuated the lock um, I gave it after um, I fixed my hand up at the doctor's office. I went home and without the camera because um, I had no one to help me film at the time, I went ahead and overstruct 
this a uh, few t few times on the um, wood on the wooden sawhorse. The lock never failed on me, um, and you can see minimum well right here on the uh, choil or finger choil or where the finger choil ends. Uh, you can see some marring on the back of the blade though, but I think it uh, survived pretty well. So I just wanted to point out that on the oval strike that um, the lock did survive, it didn't fail on me, and there was a chance that I might have actuated that lock while striking it. Um, I'd like to think that it was my fault and not the knife failing on me, because right now it locks up real nice and tight, um, no play on it whatsoever, and um, so I think it's still a pretty reliable knife, all things considering. Anyways, um, just goes to show that um, when you play with knives, you're going to get cut. So it's better not to play with them, better to use them as the tool that they are intended to be. I'm a Satsu 5, and I am out. How bad was that? It wasn't that bad. Two. Okay, that's all we need. Okay. Cool. There you go. Stand you. up a little bit. There you go, YouTube. <laughs>